So Steph, we know that a lot of newcomers or immigrants, when they arrive here, a lot of time, including myself 12 years ago, I was told that, oh, you're good, but you don't have Canadian experience. So what is Canadian experience? And what is that really is about? Is it like, oh, you're not from here, you don't know how to work with people from multicultural backgrounds, or is that a cover up or what's the reality? Mm -hmm. I think that's such an unfortunate, you know, requirement that work that work expects of people, especially newcomers who are, you know, I've worked with a lot of them who are, you know, experts and top in their field, then they come here and they're like, Oh, well, you don't have experience in Canada. So but that doesn't really, yeah. at the end of the day, make that much of a difference, right? Yeah. Especially in certain, depending on the type of industry you're in. But yeah. I think what employers might be thinking is they might be concerned about, you know, workplace culture, um, expectations, language, different things like that. I've, I've had some of my clients actually have people express that to them, that that's why they're they're not happy with them or why they didn't hire them, which is not legal, but yeah. it is something that still happens, unfortunately. But I think what I've noticed, the, the big trend that I've noticed is as long as you have Canadian experience, whatever that looks like, mm. even if it was, you know, you worked at Walmart for six months or you volunteered, um, yeah. you know, I worked with an accountant who was trying to break into the field. And so they volunteered at H&R Block during tax season and helped people with their taxes. And that really helped that person, you know, start to uh, pursue their career as an accountant here because it shows that they have that experience and they, yep. they were able to speak the language. They knew the regulatory knowledge, different things like that. And so even, and, and I've had clients even who worked at Walmart as just as a customer service rep while they're looking for like, you know, a job that's completely unrelated. But when they have that experience, for some reason, employers are now like, oh, OK, this person can speak English. This person can whatever, understand or, yeah. how to work in Canada and different things like that, even though they should think that anyways. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah I totally agree. It doesn't make any sense. But as you mentioned, volunteering, either even maybe part time jobs or even we have a lot of agencies, temp agencies, they can work on a contract basis that can also leverage uh, having that Canadian experience in, in your resume that might change the mindset of employers or even maybe recruiters that, okay, this person is employable here in the country. Mm -hmm. And again, like we talked about um, last time is the networking piece, yeah. right? If you can really show, you know, through a conversation or through providing solutions to their problems that you um, have all the things that they're looking for, then that's going to go a long ways as well. Yeah. So networking is a huge part of it as well. Yeah. I totally agree with you. And with that, my interview comes to an end. Again, thank you very much for taking the time to ask you these questions and you provide a very practical tip. So for the audience, if you haven't watched the previous video, you can check them out, comment. And if you have any more questions, you can reach out to our socials. We're more than happy to provide you more information. Again, Steph, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone.